wait for these cars. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Like always, before we get started, any of you that are learning to drive, please check out this video for the ultimate driving course, something that I recommend for all learner drivers. And if you already um, heard of the ultimate driving course and seen this um, clip before, just uh, skip the next 30 seconds. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today's learner driver is uh, Zainab and guys for those of, you, those of you who are watching for the first time the learners that turn up here for this mock test um, they've not had any lessons with me so I'm meeting Zainab for the first time and if you would like to take part in one of these mock tests all you have to do is drop a message on Instagram at DGN Driving and we'll just select um, someone randomly for the mock test. Okay Zainab, so uh, could you tell me a bit about your driving? I um, have done 30 hours of driving and... 30 hours? Okay. Yeah. I've done my driving test before but I failed and what, what did you fail on? What was the issue? Um I didn't do the emergency stop quickly enough. Oh, um, was that it? He, and um I crossed when there was a student coming for the zebra crossing. Oh, okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Right then, so um how do you feel your driving is now? Is there any areas which you're still not comfortable with or? Um, I think I'm comfortable with everything, just... Cool? Yeah. Cool, so so you watched the videos before, yeah? Yeah. Uh, on the channel, obviously any faults you do make, I won't talk about them as they happen, we'll talk about them at the end of the test. Okay. But for those of you watching, the faults will be explained just as they happen. Any serious faults will be in red text, any normal driving faults will be in amber text. Okay, so um, you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be following the sat-nav. And obviously you haven't driven this car before, it might take a few minutes to get used to it. Yeah, okay. and um, yeah, like I said, follow the sat-nav and after about 20 minutes I will switch off the sat-nav okay. and I'll give you instructions, yeah? Alright. Okay, uh, have you been through the show me, tell me questions? Yeah. Okay, so could you tell me how you check your head restraint is adjusted correctly? Um, it needs to be in line with the top of your heels and legit sitting at the rigid part of your yeah. head. Yeah, yeah. What, what needs to be in line with the top of your ears? The middle of the... That's it? Good. Mm. That's fine. So whenever you're ready, if you could move off, please. Before moving off, Zainab does check all around. There is a car approaching from behind, but she still decides to move. After moving, she stops for that car. In this situation, you should only move off after the car has passed. We were parked on the side, so it didn't really affect that car in any way. She checks the mirror as well before and after overtaking this parked vehicle. Turn left, then ahead. Keep right. We've just heard the sat nav give instructions. It said turn left and then keep right. These instructions led to Zainab making a serious driving fault. She does this left turn well. Now because the sat-nav instructed to keep right, Zainab moves into the right-hand lane, but she should have checked how far our right turning was. The right turning is still around half a mile away, which is quite a distance. The right-hand lane on a dual carriageway is also used for overtaking as well as turning right. Because she positioned in the right-hand lane too early, this meant we prevented vehicles from overtaking and they had to use the left lane. So always know your distances when following the sat-nav. After 400 
yards, turn right. Around now was the correct time to change lanes. There is a parked vehicle on our side of the road, so the oncoming vehicle has priority. Zainab holds back well in a good position. Turn left. This is a steep uphill junction at which I've seen many learners struggle. Zainab approaches it well and selects first gear in good time and deals with it really well. Now this is another junction that is slightly uphill, but this time Zainab really struggles. She comes off the clutch pedal too quick and stalls. She doesn't react well and stalls again. Zainab then asks for help, so I had to help her out. She could have maybe given it one more go before giving up. Obviously if the examiner does have to help you out in a situation like this during the driving test, then this means it's a serious driving fault. Please. Yes, please. Is the car's on now? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Right. So select gear one, please. Get the biting point. Hold it there. Hold it there. Handbrake down. That's it. Hold the clutch there. Good. Don't want to shuffle it. That's in gear three. That's okay. it. This road is quite narrow, so Zainab should have slowed down a bit more. She touches the curb. Left, then at the end of the road, turn right. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. It's okay. Turn left. Turn left. Here the bus is waiting for us to turn, but again the space is quite narrow. Zainab shows really good judgement and steers well. Now in my opinion, this is probably one of the most dangerous things you can do when driving cutting across the path of oncoming vehicles. We have to wait for the oncoming vehicles and initially Zainab does stop, but then she decides to move off when it's not safe to do so. I had to intervene and press the brake pedal on my side. When we talk about this at the end of the test, Zainab says she hasn't done crossroads where there's multiple lanes ahead like this. See it's safe here. Yeah. Okay. You got control again, yeah? Yes. Now there is a cyclist in the road and there is plenty of space to overtake, but Zainab decides to slow right down instead of overtaking. This roundabout she enters well.
Zainab reacts well to this vehicle pulling out on the roundabout when it shouldn't have. She should have exited onto the left lane as we're turning left at the next roundabout. Zainab exits onto the right hand lane but then does move back to the left in time so it's all good. It's fine, we want to go this way. This marked area to our left should be kept clear, but Zainab drives over it. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. When stopping, she stops a bit too close to the vehicle in front. This isn't a fault but will just make it slightly more difficult when moving off. And move off when you're ready. Now when moving off, Zainab does the same thing she did at the start of the test. She decides to move forward slightly when there are vehicles approaching close behind. I can tell that she's not about to drive off in front of those vehicles that are approaching, but on the driving test, the examiner could think she's about to do this and then intervene. Like I said earlier, only move off when it's safe and clear. I'm going to ask Zainab to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. Okay, and if you could do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre using this vehicle in front. Okay. So pull up next to it and then reverse park finishing about this far from here. <laughs> She carries out good observations out of the back window, but at no point does Zainab check the right blind spot which is over her right shoulder. This check is really important, especially when our vehicle begins to swing out. Now she gets too close to the curb, so decides to readjust, which is fine to do so. Thank you, and um, move off in your ring, please. And if you could just park up anywhere safe on the left. When parking up here, she doesn't signal. Now we're going to end the test here. Let's find out what Zainab thought about her driving. And switch off the engine, please. That's the end of the test. You could take out the key for me. Thank you. So, how did you think that went? I think I failed. Do you know what on? Pardon? Do you know what on? Um, when I did it at the crossroad, when I did, when I was standing right and did a stop for the car. Yeah, that, that was quite dangerous. That's probably one of the most, um, 
in my opinion, you know, when you're driving, yeah, that's probably one of the most dangerous things you can do. You know, when you're turning right, yeah. and this car's coming quite fast. If you can't see, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure what you were thinking there. Uh, did you know you had to wait for them? I know I had to wait, but because there was the car, um, the, they were turning that way, but yeah. there were another two lanes that were coming straight on. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't just one lane. There were three lanes in front of us there. Yeah, that, that fierce one was there. So you thought because that one was ten, that's going to give you time to go. Yeah. That does sometimes happen on a single lane road. Yeah, but even then there could be a motorbike trying to overtake that. Okay. Yeah, so always be careful. But there were like another two lanes there, yeah. Okay, so at least you know the reason uh, for, uh, for why you did it. And um, anything else that you noticed? Um, when I stalled. Yeah, so you stalled um, twice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was going to give you another chance. There was a van behind us, yeah, who had just turned up, but he wasn't really patient at all, yeah, mm. okay? But he, even then, you s you s asked for help, yeah, yeah? okay? The, the reason why you're stalling, do you know? Uh, I, I keep putting it in third gear, thinking no, it was one. No, that was, um, you know, after the two stalls, it was only then that you bring the third gear. You were in first both times. Yeah. Oh, okay. You come off the clutch too quick, that's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. We did a few uphill roads there, which you approached and did really well. So I thought even if you stole, I thought you, are you going to be, you weren't too bad on the hills, but then that happened and yeah. you just like, you kind of panicked and just wanted help. Obviously, I wasn't helping you at that time because I, on your test, we're, we're not supposed to, even though you're saying, um, you're asking me, have I stalled? And I wasn't saying anything until you said, oh, oh help me. Then obviously I had to come in, yeah. Mm. Okay. Because I was going to give you a bit more time there. But um, yeah, so that one, yeah, that's stalling, the crossroad one. Uh, there's one at the start which you probably didn't realize. So you turn left at the traffic lights, and the sat nav had said to you, um, so turn left and keep right. right. So, um, if you watch some of the previous videos, a lot of people do make that mistake here. Yeah. So, you know, when you're following the sat nav, yeah. It's really important to look at the distances. So sometimes Satnav will give you instructions really early on. Mm -hmm. That was the dual carriageway. He said keep right. As soon as he said keep right, you went into the right hand lane. What's a right hand lane for? Overtaking. Yeah, overtaking or if you're going to turn right. I was asking us to keep right because uh, there was a right turn that we were going to do way ahead. He said on there it was like over 800 yards away. 800 yards is quite a distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a silver car behind us. Yeah, and he said, Yeah, and he was even like, knew, like basically putting that in there what are we doing in that lane yeah? yeah okay so that's a lesson for you just obviously you do have to listen to the sat nav but make sure you know how far the turn is before actually th okay. uh, turning especially on these right turns on dual carriageways okay okay yes so that i didn't mark that as a serious fault yeah okay. for your normal driving position and then just uh, on the maneuver i hate the curb that wasn't the issue yeah, so you touch the cave, you realised, and you move forward, yeah? But, you know when you, um, when you're reversing, yeah, and you steer to the left and a car swings out? Yeah. Yeah? You're supposed to look all around, including one area which you can't see in your mir mirrors. Which area is that? Yeah. Yeah, that right blind spot, you didn't look at it? Yeah? Until later on, our car's fully in, we almost by the kid, then you had a, I think you had a little glance then. Yeah? Okay, I would advise you guys, you know when you come to that point where you're about to stay, just stop the car a second, have a look all around. Yeah? Okay. Okay. I know you were focusing on the kid there, you didn't want to lose your position on that, yeah, but it's okay to stop a second, just stop a second, have a look around before you're about to swing out. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah, so those are your main faults. There's a lot of good points to your driving. It's like we had a lot of situations today where the road was narrow, cars... Yeah, it was one time you did touch the curb, but then that other situation where the bus was waiting, you did, you showed really good steering there in judgment. Yeah, um, mirrors, brilliant with your mirrors. The roundabouts that we did as well. Mm. Yeah, that f first roundabout that we did, um, that that big one, where you said, "Oh, th um, I think I've gone the wrong way." You approached it well. Yeah, you entered it well, and then um, you reacted quite well as well because that car pulled out, so you slowed down. Then you check your mirror, always. If it's safe, exit off onto the left, especially if you're turning left again. Because okay. I did say we're turning left yes. at the second roundabout, yeah, okay. It's, uh, you know when you test, if, if the examiner gives you two instructions together, okay. yeah, that means you you have to show, like, a, a quick reaction as soon as you do the first one, yeah, or plan ahead. So, they are said left, you should have exited onto the left, mm -hmm. but then you realised in time, because if there were vehicles there, then you would just have to go the wrong okay. way, okay. okay. And, um, but... 
it would be okay to come off in the right if the examiner said to you, look, we're turning right again at the following round, mm. right? Then it's okay to stick to the right. Oh. Yeah? But if you're not sure, just ask again beforehand. Okay. Okay? Mm. Thank you, Zainab. Uh, any questions? Um, no, that's it. Thank you very much for coming down to do the mock test. And I wish you all the best with your driving test, yeah? Thank you very okay? much. Guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.